in today's video we are going to be creating an amazing poster design for tabasco pepper sauce grab your mouse as we dive in first things first we are going to create a new document choose a solid color With a solid color in place, we are going to create a new layer. Grab a soft hand brush. Foreground is set to white. Opacity is set to 100. Hardness is set to 0. We increase the bright size by the right bucket key and we click once. Now we are going to set the blend mode to overlay. And reduce the opacity. We are going to copy this crack by pressing Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. And we are going to set the blend mode to multiply. Now I'm going to copy this grand tester. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. Ctrl T to transform. And I'm going to set the blend mode to multiply. Reduce the opacity. With the layer selected, I'm going to right click and create a clipping max. Ctrl J to make a copy. Right click and create a clipping max. Now I'm going to copy this rock, Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. Ctrl T with transform. And I'm going to set the blend mode to overlay. Clip that onto the layer and we are going to reduce the opacity. We are going to create an exposure adjustment layer. With the max selected, grab a soft hand brush. Opacity is set to 100. We increase the bright size by the right bucket key and make a few clicks. We are going to set the blend mode to multiply. I'm going to copy this texture, Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste, Ctrl T and we are going to transform this. We are going to set the blend mode to soft light and reduce the opacity. Now let's grab the Tabasco pepper sauce. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. Right click and convert to smart object. And we are just going to position it. Now let's grab the logo. We are going to create a curves adjustment layer. Reduce the opacity. Now we are going to be masking the Tabasco pepper sauce, so we are going to reduce the opacity. With the layer selected, we are going to create a max. With the max selected, 
we are going to grab the polygonal lasso tool. Then we are just going to be creating a selection this way. Once we have a selection, we right click and we are going to fill that with the foreground color black. And it is gone. Control D to the select. Now I'm going to use the brush tool and I'm going to refine all the edges. Now we are going to set the opacity back to 100. With the layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. So the effect applies only to the layer. With the mark selected, Control I to invert. We grab a soft hand brush. Foreground is set to white because we are going to paint. And we are going to reduce our opacity. Hardness is set to zero. And we are going to be painting some shadows. We are going to create another exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer with the max selected control I to invert. Foreground is set to white, and we are going to paint some shadows. We are going to create another exposure adjustment layer with the max selected control I to invert and we are going to paint some shadows. So we are going to create a solid color. Right click and clip it right onto the layer. Set the blend mode to multiple with the max selected control I to invert. With the foreground color set to black. Sorry, with the foreground color set to white. We are going to paint. We are going to create another solid color. Right click and create a clipping max. We are going to set the blend mode to linear dodge. Add. Right click and go for blending options. Then we are just going to drag this. Hold down Alt and we are going to break the handoffs. With the mark selected, Control I to invert. We grab a soft hand brush and we are just going to paint. Foreground is set to white and we are going to paint. We are going to create a new layer. Grab a soft hand brush. Opacity is set to 100.
and we click once. We are going to set the blend mode to overlay. Ctrl J to make a copy and we are going to reduce the opacity of the copy. Now we are going to create a solid color. Set the blend mode to multiply. With the mark selected, Ctrl I to invert. We grab a soft tone brush. Reduce the opacity. Now with this layer selected, the Tabasco layer, Tabasco pepper sauce, we are going to create a copy by pressing Ctrl J. Create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Lightness is negative 100, every other thing is the same. We convert the layer to a smart object. Then we are going to distort it. After recording this video, I decided to change the shadow to an actual pepper. It's actually the same technique. You just have to put the pepper right behind the Tabasco pepper sauce. You are going to distort that. Apply a Gaussian blur and that is okay. Once we have everything in place, we are just going to press Ctrl Alt Shift E to merge all layers. Right click and convert to Smart Object and we are going to apply Camera Raw. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope to see you in the next one. Till next time, stay creative.